I'm going into the Basa Museum. Here has an old uh, Viking warship that was submerged in the harbor here for 330 years before they, uh, they pulled it out. So uh, you can see some of it's a mass sticking up out of the building and it shows you how, how tall and big it was. Truth of the matter was the thing only uh, sailed for 20 minutes before it sunk. So uh, it's a little bit of a, I don't know what that is. It's, uh, I'm not sure they should be so, uh, so proud of the ship. He's only got 20 minutes out of the harbor. Wow, well, here it is. Submerged for 330 years. Beautiful. Beauty and function are two different things though. Right. There's a motto of it. So supposedly it was uh, designed, originally designed to be much smaller, just 20 can in total, but uh, the king, in the midst of uh, building it, decided to make it bigger. And he made it bigger, but without uh, you know, making it wider or, or, or deeper. And so it was a little top heavy, which is why it only made it 20 minutes into the harbor. This thing was super ornate. Look at all the carvings in the back of it. Let's zoom in on some of those. Nice. Look at that. Go look down the boat. some of the sculptures that were on the boat. Check out the rudder here. Done a paint analysis of uh, some of the sculptures that they pulled up to determine what colors they were originally, and um, they've analyzed uh, 30 of them so far. That's a pretty interesting, intriguing process to do that. Made from the original, huh? Yeah. The whole last part of the Third. We have all the sculptures, and you know, this was all these pieces of wood had fallen off the ship. They had to take one piece together with another piece, and you had to become a soldier. So it wasn't so easy. You could not say no. And that's one thing that's very important to think of that the king, he had some of the skeletons the that they found on, on the boat. So when we talk about who was to blame when the ship sunk. Top side. Here's what it looked like in its glory 20 minutes. This is an exact replica of the gun deck. See how narrow it is. And this thing had uh, 64 cannon on it. 
That's what the inside looks like. Or looked like. These are two of the original cannons that were pulled up. Even these were ornate. There's a museum as we're leaving. So what do you think about that museum? I thought the Vasa was fascinating. I thought it was extraordinarily fascinating. I don't know what we were in there for at least two hours. Yep. And uh, we could have spent at least another hour in there. So highly recommended on your tour to, uh, uh, tour to Stockholm. Yep. Huh? Until next time, may your suitcase always be messy. Don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe so you'll know when we put out other exciting videos. Until then, hasta luego.